Hey guys, what do you do when Amazon has sale? Of course, you're gonna go on Amazon and buy yourself a bunch of these. Those are Amazon dash buttons and they are where like 99p and it's, it's great, I get to test them. And for that price, I'm happy to risk it and see whether they're gonna, they're gonna work or not because rumor has it, they no longer work with the old hack. So this is an old button and the model number is JK76PL and the new buttons, however, the model number is slightly different, it's JK29LP and so bear that in mind, this is the easiest way to recognize them. Now we are all aware that the old buttons work, so all you have to do is just press the button, make it flash a few times and in the few seconds time it's gonna switch on the lights, yes it's working, so it's great, but how about the new ones? Spoiler alert, it does work. And I believe they work slightly quicker, you might not be able to tell from this, but they work slightly quicker in my opinion and they last longer. So, uh, bear in mind to make it work quite reliable, you have to s connect your Raspberry Pi via LAN cable to your router. Don't do wireless, honestly, don't do wireless because you're going to get annoyed. Um, I'm going to show you how to set them up so they wouldn't bother you on your phone, how to uh, modify the scripts that I wrote in Python 3 so you could use it with the new buttons as well. Let's have a look then. Ready? Let's go. First of all, I would recommend you to change the country of your Amazon account if you actively use the Amazon. This will prevent from any notification popping up on your uh, screen. Bear in mind, however, that some of the uh, buttons may not be available in a different country. And if that's the case, you have to revert back to the country uh, in which you obtain the button. So once the um, account uh, country is changed, go to your account and the dash devices. You get to set up a new device. Um, this is very easy. All you have to do is just follow the instructions. You'll be asked to uh, turn on your dash button into a pairing mode. And after a few seconds, your dash buttons will be connected. You also get to um, save your Wi-Fi settings, your Wi-Fi passport, password for um, further use. So let's uh, wait a moment, I'll just speed this up and you'll see it. Now that the button is set up, don't go any further, don't pick up products, just close that screen and exit the setup. You can also have a look at the notification settings and disable the dash notification related settings. It's at the bottom, there is a toggle, just use it. You can also access the MAC address of the button. Just set it in a pairing mode by holding, out the, holding down the button for 6 seconds and connect to Amazon Configure Me Wi-Fi. Then just uh, log in to the local um, IP, which is 192.168.0.1 and that will dis uh, display kind of firmware um, notification giving you access to some basic information about your button, including the MAC address of the button. If you already have original script, you'll notice that uh, there's only few changes that need to be made. Uh, first of all, uh, uncomment this bit, because we're no longer going to use it, and then you have to just shift and the indent around to match uh, entire script. Now, also we're going to add this bit, we'll check whether the button variable is set and allocated. If that's the case, obviously you will perform the old actions where it would um, send a response to, in this case, my PC and my uh, mobile. Uh, the script is commented, so where it says enter your uh, key for the outer remote, enter it there, where's MAC address, enter your MAC address, and that's pretty much it. If you prefer to look for the MAC address uh, from uh, the file, you have the lines uh, to look for the calling from the button and uh, to trace the MAC address appearing on the network. So you can use it and just uncomment it and use it. Thanks so much for watching guys. Raspberry Pi script, the Python script is available in the description of this video or as a link on the screen. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye. Um, what happened when Amazon has a sale? Well, you go great. Oh, fuck's sake. Ugh. Huh. Right, that's not going to end up well, isn't it?